Welcome back to Intelligent Controls. This is Reed Lossberg. We are looking at another new Victron product. Today we are looking at the Orion XS 1400. This is a DC to DC charger and the special feature of this unit that we're probably the most excited about is two things. One that it has comms, it has communications a VE direct connection to the Victron GX environment. The other part of this is that this is a 50 amp charger that has a selectable voltage. It can charge 12 or 24 volt, and it can do that from a 12 or 24 volt source. This means that this one device has the ability to use 12 volt charging and charge a 24 volt battery bank, or you can use a 24 volt source and charge a 12 volt battery bank, or you could charge a 24 volt battery bank from a 24 volt source or charging a 12 volt battery bank from a 24 volt source like an alternator. Now, this is a system from our good friend Jason Sloan at Sloan Low Solar. He's been kind enough to let us make use of his installed Orion XS 1400. He just now turned on his van. And, and I want to point out that this is a system that we're looking at remotely. He's in Colorado. We're in Montana. Uh, he just turned on his van. This input voltage jumped up. And shortly here, this is going to start charging. It's already, already outputting 26 amps. So if we jump into the Orion... Let's take a look at the status. This external control is indicating that this unit is controlled by the BMS that's in the system. In this case, that is a Pylon Tech UP2500, which is a 24 volt lithium battery by Pylon Tech. Um, some basic details, which are gonna be pretty familiar. Uh, we've got our input and output details. Uh, currently, I wanna point this out because this is one of the cool features of the Orion XS1400, is we've got an input voltage that's a 12 volt starter system. 50 amps of current coming in and the output voltage 26.7, outputting a little over 25 amps of power to a 24 volt system. We've got some basic historical tracking and some trends. Um, trends are one that's gonna show up with just since I've been watching it. So fairly brief at this point. Now let's go into our settings. And again, this is something that we are looking at remotely. Um, the basics, we've got a charger or a power supply. Power supply is quite useful if you're using this to run loads directly, which a 50 amp DC to DC converter for running loads is pretty handy. Um, charger is enabled, we can disable it remotely. Input and output currents. This is mostly a useful way to look at things because you can change your input current or your output current. Obviously, both of those are connected. So if you limit your input current, you're likely limiting your output current. In a system where you're working between two separate voltages, having these as separate controls is very useful. Uh, let's look at our battery settings. This is going to be our setup for charging our specific lithium battery. Now, Jason has set this up to be ready to charge these Pylon Tech batteries. So he's got his absorption float storage voltages. Uh, equalization is turned off because this is a lithium battery. This BMS controlled, this is something that automatically turns on when it's in a system with a GX device device like a Serbo GX or an Acrono GX or any other Venus operating system, and it has a recognized BMS. It will pass this information along and turn on the BMS controlled. Uh, there are some further settings if you go into expert mode, not something that is necessary very often. Obviously, it gives you a warning about it. Uh, it gives us some additional settings for temperature compensation, rebulk settings, absorption, all that. I'm not going to change any of this. This is all pretty standard. And, and if you need to do this, you probably know what you're doing already. Uh, engine shutdown detection. Again, very similar to what you've seen in the Orion systems. The alternator type on this, uh, this is one of the extra features that this XS1400 has, is it has multiple voltages for our smart alternator. Now, Jason in his fan has a smart alternator, 12 volt. Uh, you can also set this as user defined if you have some other settings that you wanna mess with. Uh, but these four are gonna cover 99% of your basic needs for most systems. Uh, the start voltage, this is the voltage at which it's going to need to see the input reach before it begins its countdown to start charging the delayed start voltage and the delayed start voltage timeline uh, and also the shutdown voltage. All these very familiar from uh, the Orion TR system. Uh, 
Input voltage lockout. This is to just ensure that you're not going to drain your starter battery by making use of this Orion. Uh, and the VE smart networking. This is something that the Orion TRs did not have. This means that in a smaller system where you're working with, uh, say, a BMV 712 shunt and maybe a, a solar charge controller, you can join this into a network and those devices will be able to share some basic information back and forth, uh, such as the battery voltage so that the shunt is sharing the battery voltage to the charge controller, uh, the solar charge controller and the Orion so that they have a unified battery voltage that's going to be more accurate than what they are seeing on their DC outputs. All right, so really awesome. We've got 700 watts of charge happening right now. Now let's go take a look at our VRM dashboard. On VRM, we have information. We've got some charge coming in. We've got loads active right now. We've also got some PV. Most of this balances out so that our DC power and our batteries are getting a little bit of current, but they're not taking all of it. So let's jump into the remote console. Again, awesome feature here is that we are looking at this entirely remotely. I'm going to jump over to the brief to start. You'll see this new tab here. This little icon is indicating the alternator, which is that Orion XS 1400 pushing charge into the rest of the system. So we get some real direct feedback about what kind of power is coming in right up front on the very first screen. Now, if we jump over to the overview, we'll get a little bit more detail. Uh, I'm a big fan of this page because it probably shows the most functional information. So our alternator, this is that new Orion device. And since it has this light blue box around it, that means that we can go into that directly. So I'm gonna click into our Orion XS. Now we are in the Orion XS 1400 device page on the Serbo GX. Some really basic overview information. We've got our input and output voltages and amperages, uh, the power that's coming through here. This unit is incredibly efficient. It's it's upwards of 96% plus. Uh, I, oftentimes they're even more like 98% efficient. Very, very efficient. Uh, you'll see the slight difference between the input and the output wattage. Now it is working under an external control. It is following that BMS that is a part of this system. And let's start jumping into some of our basic details. Our overall history here, uh, this is relatively newly installed. It's had a, a couple power cycles. Um, the charged amp hours, overall history, how much has this unit charged in its lifetime? Now, Jason's system is pretty efficient. Uh, he's got a fair bit of solar on his roof, which means that's going to keep it topped up most of the time. But when he really has a big load, and he was kind enough to run it down a bit last night so we could really show this, uh, you're going to start getting some power coming in. And honestly, this charger for most systems is going to keep up more than keep up with your load demand. Uh, jumping into our charge cycle history, some basic details here. It's never completed a full charge cycle, largely because uh, it's been driven short distances and the solar has actually kept up with the top of that charge cycle. Uh, jumping over into our settings here. Output battery. Now this is a really handy setting. Alternator charging the main battery. This is what most use cases are going to be. However, charging another battery from the main battery is another option. This is a great scenario for um, maybe you have one Orion XS that is charging your uh, 24 volt battery bank and then you have an auxiliary lead acid battery that handles heavy duty small loads, things like leveling systems, lift motors, slide motors, things like that. And you want to charge that from your main battery, your main lithium storage battery, and you're charging, say, a lead acid bank. This is the option that you would use for that. Really handy to have that within our remote console. Uh, it means that you don't have to go into Victron Connect to, to be able to adjust that. Uh, jumping up BMS controlled, you can reset the BMS control if you need to do some troubleshooting, but this will automatically turn on anytime that there is a BMS, a controlling BMS in this system. Jumping over to our device. Some basic information, you can set a custom name here, uh, name it whatever you want to. Uh, the product device, uh, our product ID, current firmware version, VRM instance, serial number. Uh, so a little bit of detail that's, that's coming up in here. The real cool part with all of this is that we have access to it. We have direct alternator information. It is following our Pylon Tech battery. The BMS that is a part of this is 
talking directly to this Orion, which means that as this battery fills up and hits closer to 95%, it's probably going to throttle back the amount of charge it wants. As it gets closer to 100%, it'll bring that all the way down to zero. Meaning, even if we're driving, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on with our alternator. Now, let's jump into our advanced tab. This here, I've set up a couple basic ones down at the bottom. Uh, the Orion XS 1400, our input and our output voltage and current. But we do also have our alternator. So this has a whole bunch of preset options, uh, output voltage, current, state, what part of the charge cycle is it in? Is it in absorption? Is it in bulk? Is it in float? Uh, is it on? Is it off? Is it in some error state? Uh, our input power and our output power, which is similar to what we saw in the remote console on the, that basic front page. Um, really handy to be able to get all this. You also can do custom widgets and pull up any of this data and compare it to something else in your system. So uh, super useful, also incredibly handy for being able to troubleshoot and monitor and just purely see how effective this has been. So I'm gonna zoom right in on the last few minutes. So it was off, we had our input current pretty much settled at zero. But now it's on. Look at that. 50 amps of input current and the input voltage spiked. That was what triggered our system to turn on. And now it is happily charging away. And now our output voltage, you can see the front edge of the curve happening here. Uh, so the, the storage bank, our lithium bank was down at 26 volts. And then as this charger kicked in, it's already starting to bring this voltage up and it will bring that up until it finishes the bulk cycle and then it will begin to do the absorption cycle where this amperage will drop and the voltage will be maintained at a, at a flat rate overall incredibly useful the addition of comms and the ability to see what's going on inside of this is a major upgrade to the orion product line and I think anybody who's got a alternator and a large lithium bank is really going to appreciate this. Uh, the Orion XS series, the 121250 that was released last year has already been a major hit. The Orion XS 1400 is a natural successor to it with the flexibility and the adaptability to work with any 12 volt or 24 volt system is really huge. Um, check it out. If you have any questions about it, get in touch with us. You can find all sorts of information and contact us through our website, intelligentcontrols.io. If you want to follow more of our videos, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thank you very much for watching.